to mid-April through mid-May love readings. My love readings run from the middle of the month to the middle of the next month because we have these videos here, the career and money readings, as well as your general readings already. And so this kind of keeps you on track as the month goes on. This is for your moon sign. And I know you're like, why? Why not my Venus? Why not my sun? This video right here is gonna tell you exactly why that is. Just trust me, it's gonna resonate more. Um, you'll know why if you watch that video or you know, just trust me, whatever. This month, I'm gonna use a couple different decks and my awesome assistant might kind of edit into the video here what that will, what they look like, okay? And then in the description box below, if you're wondering what that is, there's links there. Um, and if you click on the link and you wanna buy one, I, I'm not selling them, but it's their affiliate links, which is great for me because I have to make money, you know, as well. So hopefully that'll work. Uh, what else? Let's just get started, I guess, then. Um, so the way these love readings work is we're going to look at predictions for singles, couples, and then for those in it's complicated situations. So you might be polyamorous, you might be in an on again, off again relationship. Maybe you're just talking to each other, but you haven't really met yet because of coronavirus. And so you're wondering what that's gonna be like later, you know, when you can see each other, whatever. Um, I'm gonna break it into those three categories and we're gonna look at what the general vibe is this month, what you, um, really want, or at least what you think you want, then what do you actually need? What's going to be the best thing to happen in your love life this month? And then what's the biggest challenge going to be? And then kind of just overall general advice. So let's get started. We're going to start with singles, then move on to couples, and then do, um, for those of you in complicated situations, whether that means you're polyamorous, on again, off again, you're just talking, but it's not committed. Um, we're gonna do those last because sometimes pieces of the single and pieces of the couples will resonate for its complicated situation. So it's not that I love you less, but that's the reason why I do that last. Aries, Aries singles. Okay, your love vibe this month is don't stop. You know, don't stop trying to online date. Don't stop trying to figure out what it is that you want. Don't tr stop, you know, flirting and, you know, you know, looking for a partner or trying to figure out what exactly what it is that you want for your love life. Don't stop, um, you know, having phone sex with somebody. I mean, whatever your situation is, whatever you're doing in regards to your love life right now, don't stop it. I think there's a reason that you would be, um, wh why they're recommending that you continue your methods. And they're saying, because this is going to be some, because something's going to come of it that um, is stable and consistent and beneficial to you over the long term, okay? Now, what is it that you think you want this month? And you wanna be sure. Okay, and so I think that's why it's important that you don't stop whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but I totally um, saw this out of the corner of my eye. Um, no, is this side. <laughs> it's hard because my, my screen videotapes backwards. Um, like an angel just like walked right up in here. Like they have something serious to say about this. Okay, so you wanna be really certain about things, um, which is interesting because Aries is so impulsive, but what they're saying is, you know, there is something consistent and beneficial and good for you that is coming in your love life. Even if, and maybe this is why they walked up and kind of were intrusive, they say even if it's just consistent dick, it's just like good consistent dick. Like if that's all you want right now, that's fine. Whatever, it's there though, okay? Like, so don't stop doing what you're doing because it's gonna work for you, okay? And you can, and it's something you can rely on and be certain about, so. Um, what is it though that you actually need this month? And they're like, okay, honestly, your fear is holding you back. You know what you want, but for some reason, maybe it's judgment of other people. Maybe um, it's the fear that you could lose something. Like all signs are go, okay? So they're like, what are you waiting for? Just do what you want. This is your sign, okay? So take it. So um, what is going to be the best thing that happens in your love life this month? And they're like, that promise of consistency, of knowing what to expect, that reliability, it's there, okay? So, you know, even if you don't have what you want quite yet, keep doing what you're doing because it's gonna pay off, I promise. 
Um, maybe not right now. Maybe not by the time, you know, okay, so this video goes from the end of April into the first half of May, but, you know, maybe after that, like your efforts pay off. So just, just keep going, okay? Uh, so what is going to be the biggest challenge in your love life? Feeling satisfied, honestly. Um, determining what is it that you want 100% because sometimes you get what you want and then you're like, okay, now what? right? And so um, it would be good to identify what you really want from love relationships. It doesn't matter if it's different than what other people think you should want, right? Like, so for example, maybe you do just want a sexual relationship, but you feel like you should want, you know, deep love and, you know, marriage by a certain age or something. Um, but no, whatever you want, that's good and don't worry about what other people say or think or their judgment and honestly people aren't thinking about you as much as you think they are um so that's a challenge though to overcome what satisfies you what makes you happy what brings you joy and just keep doing that if it's not broke don't fix it right so the overall advice for you is um to feel good about your situation keep doing what you're doing don't change it it's even if it's not 100 percent perfect right now it's leading to that okay so if you are coupled, what's the vibe? Same thing as singles. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, it's working, okay? So what is it that you think you want from your relationship? And, um, you know, you just want to be decisive. You want to feel intuitive, like you know what you're doing and, you know, that you can trust your intuition, um, that your judgment is correct. You know, and I guess, well, you know, you you think you want that. You you want to be intuitive and kind of like know what your partner wants and the direction this is headed and stuff. Is it is it accurate? And they're saying, yeah, like you're in tune. You're feeling it. Yes, 100%. So you want to do that. You should give yourself permission to do that. You can trust, you know, your instincts here. So what is it, though, that you actually need in your relationship? Um, and it's not necessarily to be grateful. It's kind of more to not sugarcoat things, okay? So, um, you know, you can be grateful for everything in your relationship, for your partner, for, um, you know, everything that they provide you, or even if you're not like, um, every, all the lessons that you're learning and your struggles, that's all good stuff. Um, but it's not necessarily what you need right now. What you need right now um, isn't sort of to just, you know, see the positive, optimistic light of things. It's to be super, super honest with yourself and with your partner, you know? Um, so maybe they do something sweet for you, like they cook you dinner and it's gross. <laughs> um, instead of gushing about how, you know, amazing it is and lying not to say that you are a liar but you know sugarcoating the reality yeah i like it mm, so good um just to say you know this isn't my favorite i really loved when you made this other thing because otherwise they might start integrating that you know all the time and then you're gonna suffer every fucking time like just be it's almost like being brutally honest in the kindest most polite and loving way if that makes sense because by sugarcoating things, by hiding things, omitting things, um, you're not doing yourself any favor. You're just creating struggle for down the road. Um, maybe not even for them, but for yourself. So that's important. Um, what is the general kind of advice for you? They're like, kind of be open to noticing your partner's love languages. Um, Maybe they show love to you in a way that is different than you show love to them. So you might not notice that what they're doing is actually in order to be romantic and to be kind. And it might just kind of go over your head. For example, um, I had a partner once that on New Year's bought a jacket that was like gold to match my dress, which was gold. And um, when he put it on, I said, what are you, a TV game show host? You look like Guy Smiley. And I made fun of him because I didn't realize, oh, he was trying to be sweet and cute and match me. And um, I just thought he was picking ugly clothes, honestly. And that really fucked up the vibe for the night. You know what I mean? 
So <laughs> anyway, um, being aware of your partner's love language, like, or, you know, for example, maybe your partner cooks and cleans and that's their way of showing you love, but you're interpreting it as you think I am bad at cooking and cleaning and that I don't care about these things. Um, and when actually it's the opposite thing, right? Because maybe you show it in a different way. So um, that's important, okay? Now, the best thing this month that is going to happen for you is that you start thinking about things from a different perspective, right? You start looking at things through a lens that is different than the one that you had in the past. Now, um, this is actually really good for you, even though your partner might come off a little bit sort of defensive, but you're both a little defensive. You're both a little closed off if you're not speaking the same exact love language. It seems like there is a need for a little bit more communication behind the intention of everything that goes on and what is said and how things are done um, in the relationship, okay? So the biggest challenge is kind of breaking down those walls and um, over communicating almost this month. So that is your reading and now moving on to those in complicated situations. The timing is perfect for what? For what? What's the vibe? For getting laid. Um, so I just want to be honest with you. I recorded the Aries video earlier um, and actually discovered at the end of like 45 minutes of talking to myself that I wasn't actually recording it. And I was wondering if they were going to spice this up um, or like leave it the way that it was when I came to record it a second time or because I just pull new cards like I don't plan things out I just like go with the flow with the vibe whatever they want to tell me um and I was kind of wondering if they were going to like tone it down a little bit or like keep it the same level or what was going to happen your previous reading that didn't get recorded was all about sex you know even if you are social distancing and you're just having like FaceTime sex or phone sex or sending like text messages that are dirty and pictures. Um, that's really still the vibe. It's very, very, very much the vibe. Um, this situation that you're in, this complicated situation or relationship or unrelationship, whatever it is, is all about passion and excitement and sex. And um, in the previous version of this, they went as far and maybe they'll, they'll bring it up again. I don't know, but they went as far as to say like, it was all about like jizz everywhere and like, um, you know, like squirting. It was like a lot of raunchy stuff. So anyway, fully embrace it because that is totally the theme for it's complicated Aries people. That's the vibe. That's the, that's the whole thing. So um, what is it that you think you want? Well, you think you don't wanna make your mind up about something. Um, you think your intuition is on, but then you're not really sure, and you think you wanna trust it, but then you don't really know. But what is it that you actually need? Um, just, you know, not even to think about things, really. I mean, the thing is, go with the flow, okay? And then it's actually okay to stay up into late hours of the night. Like you don't need more sleep. You just need to to have all this sex, whether it's virtual sex or it's actual sex, like um, all this passion and enthusiasm and lust stuff going on. And the reason why it's important for you is because if you don't, you're gonna walk around all crabby and stuff, okay? But when you're getting laid all the time in the way that you want and it's super spicy and exciting, sure, it might distract you, um, sometimes you might not be able to focus on other things, but you're sure of a hell a lot nicer to be around. You're really happy and stuff like that. So good to know. Um, the biggest challenge for you is that your intuition's a little bit off. Just go with the flow, like whatever. Don't overthink things too much. You know, so um, don't be thinking about like, ooh, what does my partner really want? Who cares? This is about you. This is about your lust and your excitement. Just do what you want. I mean, like, don't go raping, you know, that's not what I mean. But I just mean, like, an example, like, dirty talk, right? Like, don't try to 
come up with things that you know your partner or your partners or your unpartner might want to hear. Just whatever you want. It's like totally self-focused and that's okay and it's not a bad thing, okay? They're like, okay, a lot of you already like logically know this and you already kind of do it, okay? Um, but for those of you that don't, that's important to know. So um, they're saying a lot of you should be actually um, more vocal because the more that you tell what you want, what you need, how much you like something, um, then the more you get of it. And like I said, you know, the more pleasant you are to be around. And honestly, the more that you're enjoying even just this one little area of your life, um, I mean, not even whether you're looking for love or you're not, the focus is supposed to be on sex and passion and lust. Even if you're not having sex, like just talking about it or whatever, or, um, you know, making out heavy or whatever uh, point is that this raises your vibration and then it's going to help you get what you want in your love life and in a lot of different areas of your life. To be honest, this is a really good thing for you that this might be the focus. So, hey, happy birthday, right? Isn't it's like now-ish, I think. Yeah, birthday sex. I think that's a song maybe by Rihanna. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments if you feel like it. So, general guidance. Make sure that you're saying all the things about what it is that you desire, what it is that you want. Talk dirty. That's another song, Talk Dirty to Me, right? Anyway, um, they're saying like, this vibe isn't here forever. It's here right now. So take advantage of it while you can. Love you so much. Oh, 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 oh